y'all my name is brianna and i am a fourth year third grade teacher in north carolina today is day two of tutoring so i am up a little bit later this morning but sleep just felt so good i'm gonna do my makeup and then and eat my breakfast and then i'm going to head to starbucks just because i have gift cards and i like how that coffee set me up for the day yesterday and then i'm also going to stop at target dollar spot because i think i'm just going to buy two dry erase pockets because i don't have any whiteboards here and it would be really beneficial um i think i'm gonna go to my classroom on thursday but i would like some for today and since they're only a dollar i'm just gonna pick some up to have here if this tutoring thing is really gonna be a thing so that is that um i'm gonna get ready and i'll see you guys in a little bit all right i don't look ready but you know i like having pieces of hair down i'm wearing a green polka dot dress today which is a little bit wrinkly but that's okay um i am going to head to target and i'm just gonna go to the starbucks there because why go to two places when you can go to one i might stop at dollar tree but it depends on the time because i gotta get back here so i'm gonna head out and i will touch base with you guys when i get back okay so i'm back um it is 9 10 so i have 50 minutes to get myself organized here you know it's a good shopping trip when you don't spend any of your own money <laughs> so again caramel cloud macchiato unfortunately the cloud is gone it's like the best part but i went ahead and got two just black dry erase pockets um i'm just going to pull these papers out that are inside of it and put a blank piece of paper inside and we're going to use these as whiteboards if needed i was also going to go to the regular school supply section to get dry erase markers but then they had them there um now obviously these are not great but they do the job and then the final thing i bought was this little container so i'm starting back at basics with the child that i'm working with and i don't have any base 10 blocks at home obviously so i went ahead and printed some on cardstock last night now obviously i would typically laminate these but i just didn't want to take the time to do that but watch this this is the perfect size i got these on teachers pay teachers it was a free just template of them i mean they're super easy to make regardless but free template and i made each in a different color this is not very practical for the classroom because then the ones it's not even gonna focus on them like they're so tiny this is what i'm working with right now and that is okay they fit really nicely and so if you're looking for a cute little um divider this was so this little thing is a dollar but it won't close okay so the top is bowed for some reason so you know it's worth that dollar doesn't doesn't close but you get the idea and this is really awesome just to keep them all in place i'm going to start with base 10 today and i may go into other strategies but we'll see how she does with that i don't want to bombard her with too much but here is my makeshift whiteboard perfect always keep my receipts and i'm going to make a copy of the page with the problems just so she has also somewhere to write with pencil printed this mat this is from i'll link it down below um but this was a freebie too i was just looking up many different subtraction strategies last night and i wrote them all down i'm going to be using this i know these are not like the size of that but at least it'll help her see that she needs to get 10 of those ones to replace the 10. this is a child who did not have common core math her whole life so honestly I know these are like a basis in math, but when I showed them to her, she had never seen them before. 
so that's that um, I also I printed this page this is from the same book that I used to pre-assess her yesterday she's really good on her addition regrouping so I'm not really gonna worry about the addition ones but just so I didn't have to make something I just copied this but there's two rows here of two digit subtraction with regrouping and then there's two rows at the bottom of three digit so we'll probably try the three digit tomorrow it depends how today goes but we're definitely just going to focus on two digit today and I'm also going to have her go through with some of my erasable highlighters <laughs> that I got in my subscription box and I'm going to have her highlight the biggest number look at the column and highlight the bigger number that way that draws her attention that was a lot of your tips as well and then we're going to talk about more on the floor go next door and get 10 more but after we've modeled it a ton here is my setup for today we did move into my office space like i said if you did not see me reorganize this in my latest video or two videos ago i'll link it right here but I brought home all of my resources so this is the book that I've been using just because it did have that pretest um, and it's helpful that it has every standard and these basic pages like this um, because we're just working on that basic subtraction with regrouping right now so I have myself an area to use a whiteboard if needed. She can flip this over and use the whiteboard if I'm having her do that, or she can even write on this space since the tens and ones aren't that big. I'm actually gonna put these here. So they're nice and organized. I have an extra piece of paper here on top of her assessment from yesterday. I think I'm gonna have her fold it into fourths and then every day we're going to add a new strategy or just some reminders or something just so she can have some kind of page to reference and I can always like hang it up there too as we're working so I love this desk so much it's absolutely perfect for this I totally wish that box wasn't there but I mean I'm just gonna keep it there her little feet will be okay it's from Ikea I got the white tabletop it's the longest one so it's like really big it's like two desks in one and then i got the black legs to go under it it's literally perfect and of course of course this was inspired by miss curtis classroom who <laughs> everyone was like oh my gosh you well not everyone but some people were like you copied her and then i met her in miami and i'm like everybody hates me because I totally stole your idea and she's like no I love it I was just inspired by her guys that's what the internet's for you know that's why we share ideas to be inspired so I am going to say goodbye for now and get ready to tutor all right tutoring is complete and was a success the little pieces actually kind of worked out on the mat just slide the pieces and I've never realized how having a 10 frame is so helpful when you're working with the ones because it gives you the space to line them up and you can easily see that you have 10 or 9 or 8 um, or 5. So I really love this mat. It's from Lucky Little Learners. That worked really well. We just did 2x2 two two, um, or 2 digit subtraction today. The highlighters were not the greatest but we started just circling the larger number and then on the whiteboard I was sometimes switching it to subtraction where you don't have to regroup just to remind her that this is not the only way. I really love this trick and I didn't use it last year at all and I think it makes a huge difference because it's that reminder of oh do I have to regroup and of course use the poem more on the floor go next door and get 10 more. We did some of these three digit ones on the whiteboard after she was getting the hang of it but we're gonna go more into that tomorrow and I think I'm going to break out some word problems. I also kind of wanted to find a game but 
I remembered all my game need dice and I have so many dice in my classroom I'm not gonna be there till Thursday though so maybe I'll just hold off on the games until next week she did an awesome job with this unfortunately it doesn't have ones tens and hundreds but i guess we can just do the hundreds off the board tomorrow but i definitely want to use more of those place value blocks because i think i could see her like working through it in her mind like visually taking the 10 away and replacing it as she was doing it and obviously that's how i've taught in the past it's just different when you have a huge group of kids versus one student because when you have the huge group i feel like you rush through it i think what i'm going to do actually at the beginning of this upcoming school year is just give a pre-assessment and see who can regroup and solve it on their own and don't even bother having them sit through the lesson and learn it that way i can work with the kids who really need it and then i can challenge the ones that already know how I am gonna go head to Dollar Tree now because a lot of you are telling me there's sprinkled border. I think I might have seen it. I think it might be hot pink, but I'm gonna go and look and then I'm driving my friend to the airport later, so I should probably go to the gym before then. Also, there's like a centipede thousand legger thing on my floor, so I'm gonna clean that up. No luck at Dollar Tree. They had like a bunch of metallic borders and some Elmo stuff but I didn't see any sprinkle stuff, unfortunately. But I'm starving, it's 12 o'clock, so I'm going to make some lunch before I have to drive my friend Lauren that you guys have met. She's the one who I got the bookshelf benches from. I'm driving her to Raleigh, to the airport. She's going home to Maine for a little while because she's one of my friends from college and we went to grad school together and so we're all from you know all over so she drove me to the airport so I'm going to return to return return the favor and before I do that I'm going to make some lunch and maybe look at our first social studies unit since I planned all of bones yesterday. I also want to, um, hmm. There's one thing I want to add to my unit to, for the kids to discover how many bones their body has. Um, I think it's in the FOSS kit. I'm not really sure. I have to check, but you give different body parts to different groups kind of like a jigsaw and they count the bones and then we all come together and add it together that actually be like a good math activity too for the beginning of the year i mean it's going to be like october but a good little integration there so yeah i'm gonna make myself just um heat up my ground turkey black beans and corn which is already mixed together um, I ran out of cheese, but that's okay, and then I'll put taco sauce on top. I also don't have any more lettuce, so I'm not going to waste chips or points and put that together. Um, but that's what I'm doing right now. Please ask me how excited I am. Oh my goodness, I got this new water bottle. It's like a hydro flask, but I got it on Amazon and it's so much cheaper. This one was only like $15, whereas the hydro flask is like 40. Summit is what it says, simple modern. I literally looked up hydro flask and this is the 40 ounce one. I wanted it a little bit bigger and then I got the one also, this company has many different tops. I got the one with the straw top thing. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited because it's stainless steel, but it's like sweat resistant and huge and I've wanted this so badly all summer. Um, I just think this is perfect for the pool and the beach because it keeps your water cold and it's big and oh my goodness and it's like a pink faded to blue color. So yeah, my goodness, I am so tired. It's just one of those things where when you've been waking up early, it just hits you on either the second or the third day. So here I am. I am getting ready for my final day of tutoring this week. So my plan for today, because now the problem with the three digit stuff, and I'm sure you guys have this too if you teach this, is the kids want to not forget anything so they want to go through the entire problem first and regroup before they start subtracting 
all the way to the last number and I'm like you need to see if you actually need to do that first so just practicing with slowing down we're gonna do the three digit with the uh, base 10 I call them place place value blocks base 10 blocks same thing right I don't know base 10 blocks <laughs> the three digit subtraction to model it out to show that one step at a time. And I want to write it out at the same time on the paper. I just always struggle with making a smoother connection from the manipulative to the paper. Like to me it makes sense, but I don't use the right words or I don't make it flow good. There is three digit subtraction down here. I'll probably pull from today. That is from the Common Core book that I showed you previously. Now the thing about that book is it's just skill based, so it does not have any word problems. So I went to my other resources. The game I have from the third grade pack I purchased from Games for Gains. This is just the squares game. Honestly, I would rather have a bump game. Games for Games makes really good like around the block bump games where there's like a board game and then there's pieces that you cover in the middle and it's just a lot going on, but that's okay. This is what I have, so this is what I'll work with. I wonder if this seller has more in the second grade with addition and subtraction because I don't really have that much. I mean, I have some, but I wonder if there's more geared toward just basic that I can purchase for next school year. So anyway, you need two six-sided dice. So these dice are really cute. They look like they were written on with markers. That's fun. These are in the pack that I got from the Target Dollar Spot, which had like other activity dice with it. So basically to play the game, you roll the dice to find your menu end, and then you roll your other dice to find your subtrahend, and then you subtract, and <laughs> you put a line at your answer and then whoever closes the box gets to put their initials in used to play this at restaurants all the time on the kids menu i need to cut more green i need to do my makeup i need to put on deodorant and change my shirt let's go tutoring was a success um we actually played the game for majority of the time i started with two digit subtraction and having her build it with the paste 10 blocks but she was just getting very frustrated with that because she knows the process on the paper now. But I really wanted her to see the why. And like she got it yesterday, but she doesn't, she still wasn't making the connection that she's using the same number that's in front of her and just making it in a different way. We did a couple with it and we talked about how we're taking the 10 and exchanging it for the ones. And I showed her, I'm like, okay, now what number is on your mat when there's two tens and 13 ones 33 well you just had 33 the number didn't change we just are representing it in a different way and we just tried to do that a few times i just want her to understand the why but that was a bit challenging even though we started there yesterday too she was just getting frustrated with the base 10 blocks so I switched to the game and the game was all three digit subtraction which we haven't really practiced much but I'm like that's okay you roll the dice to get your two numbers that you have to subtract so I'm like I could teach her through this game and she got the process and she could do it all very well it was neat because when it was her turn she would solve it when it was my turn I would solve it however I'd be writing, she would be walking me through the process, telling me what to do. I kept asking her why, reminding her that we are borrowing the 10 from next door and bringing it over. But she did fantastic and we did two word problems and that was it. And we there were problems mixed in there that she didn't have to borrow and she's recognizing that now. That was the main goal, she's recognizing when she has to go next door. She doesn't exactly understand what that is, even though I tried to show her with base 10 blocks. Some kids just can't see it, and honestly, it's okay if she can get the process. I know some of you are gonna say it's not okay, and in the past I would have said it's not okay, but I would rather have a happy child than a frustrated child. So I'll continue trying to remind her of the why 
and showing her in different ways. That's all our tutoring for this week. So next week, I'm definitely going to do just a day of word problems, addition, subtraction, regrouping, not regrouping, carrying, whatever, just to make sure she has that mastered before we move on to multiplication. And then also I'm saving the game because of course we didn't get so far, but she loved it. She's like, I wish we could just do this the whole time. She didn't like connect that, yeah, she's doing problems, but we're playing a game at the same time. Like that's why I love centers so much and seeing it firsthand and getting to experience it firsthand is even better. So we'll continue throwing some of those problems in there, playing the game sometimes, maybe start with a few word problems, play the game, end with a few word problems. That way she's still practicing subtraction because that was our goal. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I just whipped up some guacamole and it looks so amazing. This is the perfect avocado. It could be maybe even a little bit more ripe, but awesome. I made guacamole last week and I had a leftover avocado, jalapeno, red onion, cilantro, lime. So it's the chipotle recipe because their guac is amazing. And then I just have Santita's chips. So guacamole is good fat. So I'm not worried about when the points are high on that because I'm putting good nutritious food in my body. The chips, if I have nine of them, they're four points. And honestly, by the look of this bag, there's probably like 18 in here because they're all broken up. So eight points, I don't know. I've been tracking this week on Weight Watchers and this is the first time in a very long time that I've been consistent with my tracking. I'm way over on my points, but I just wanna get back into the habit and hopefully next week I won't be as over. I mean, that's the goal, just little by little get better and better every week. I have gone to the gym every single day since Saturday. I know that's not necessary, but it makes me feel really good about myself and just the fact that I have the motivation to do that is awesome. But yeah, I'm just gonna hang out right now and see what shows were on last night on Tuesday and see what I missed and what I can catch up on and I'll probably plan a little bit later today. Okay, bye.